What's up, Doombots? We have ISO 8s for the Young Avengers. Now, you notice there's only four here because there's only four Young Avengers. I'll go into a little bit of detail of the other options, but I want to stick to these guys because the Young Avengers are a very strange team. They're like a war team, kind of. They're good on defense or offense sometimes, depending on where you are. They're also okay at like raids in some situations, but ultimately they're not a great team at anything. But that said, they're still an optimized version of how you want to build them. So we're going to start very simple. We're going to start with Ms. Marvel. Uh, and Ms. Marvel is probably one of the best skirmisher characters that has ever existed. Because of how she works with assists, uh, and because she assists every young Avenger or brawler character, when you add skirmisher, these assist and counterattacks, you're guaranteed to put a vulnerable on a target that doesn't have vulnerable. You're also guaranteed to clear a buff, you know, at level 3 or 2 buffs at level 5, uh, if that target has a vulnerable already. So, because she's constantly doing extra work, some people make an argument that maybe damage is most important. The damage she does on her own is good enough because it's an extra attack. The utility you get from her is incredible. So there are plenty of other options. Some people even justify healer. I don't think her health pool is that good, but it could be. For Ms. Marvel specifically, Skirmisher just makes the most sense for both the YA or any brawler hybrid version of the team. Uh, now we get into the little bit more nitty gritty characters. Now these are the characters that are here. We might be getting another one soon. Most people like to, you know, cherry pick a brawler to put as the last member of this team. Spider-Man, Captain Marvel, albeit. Uh, but that doesn't really change what these guys do. America Chavez, uh, she doesn't need any utility. And uh, as is tradition, she doesn't hit any more than one target ever with any of her attacks. Her ultimate has the ability to clear buffs, plus clearing buffs is not that big of a deal on this team with Ms. Marvel set up the way she is, so you just want to lead on damage with her. Raider is fine, uh, it's a reasonable option, but since she is a primary damage dealer with a pretty decent damage stat, increasing her damage uh, overall is not probably the best effort you can put in, uh, and that's why I put Striker on her. Most importantly, getting that 5, 10, or 15% increase in damage is going to go a long way. A lot of what America Chavez does for this team is right here, increasing the health of those characters by 20% with Tier 4s or 10% without them. So, you just want to make sure that she's doing more damage when she takes her turn. That's the big deal for her. Spider Miles, he can go a lot of different ways. Uh, I have him right now set to striker mainly because of how quick strike interacts with the other characters if squirrel girl is present or the target has defense down cleared to read positive effects well does it make too much of a difference if you clear three or six no but this is fundamentally turning his basic attack uh into a Guaranteed wipe all the buffs off of a character, providing his focus is high enough to do so. So, it's not an unreasonable investment. You can make an argument for Raider, considering how Web Blast works, uh, but it's the only attack that hits more than one target that he has. It already has extra focus. <laughs> it's not great. Same thing with Venom Shock. Uh, again, it's already doing a pretty decent amount of work. It is only hitting one target, so you can put Raider on him. Um, it just never felt right to me, especially for war offense and even war defense when there's always blocks up and, you know, a blocked attack can't be crit, so you can't get Raider on. For me, I'm just taking the extra damage. The, the beautiful thing about the Brawlers, they have a pretty decent amount of sustain on their own, and they are basically just a big damage team. So lean into the fact that it's a big damage team, making sure these characters do big damage. Uh, I don't think Fortifier is good on any of them. I don't think Healer is necessary on any of these characters. I, I guess Skirmisher is a fine option, but again, when you have Skirmisher on Ms. Marvel, every attack is also a Skirmisher attack, so it's not a high priority. So he's fine as Striker. You can argue Raider, depending on where you are in the game. 
Then we have Squirrel Girl. Now, as I just said, Skirmisher is not really a priority. The difference is she does have a multi-attack here. And she does have an ulti attack here. Um, usually going to happen on turn 2 after she does this. If you're on auto or if you're in control, you're probably not using uh, Eat Nuts any time earlier. But she does call the ally with the highest damage to attack the primary target. Which will put a buff. Because there is a primary target, Skirmisher will put a vulnerable on that target regardless of what happens. So if you do end up hitting it with a character like America Chavez you will get all of the benefits of uh, Skirmisher, but the vulnerable being placed on them. Uh, it's reasonable. You can make a complete argument for Raider by the time she's using Squirrel Army. It's very likely that it crits. Same thing with uh, her basic, which will attack two people. So Raider is a very reasonable assessment to put on her. At this point, it's really just going to come down to how strong your Ms. Marvel is, and most importantly, who the last member of the team is. Now, if you're using Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel cannot crit. She can only do damage, so it makes the most sense to boost her damage stat up and give her Striker. If that's the case, maybe putting Raider on her gives her a little bit more value. If you're using Spider-Man, Spider-Man doesn't do much damage on his own. He's more of a utility character, uh, but he does hit at least multiple targets on his special. He can chain on his basic, so he can be a good Raider. Or he could be a skirmisher, again, because he's hitting multiple targets. Or because he's uh, stunning one target at the exact right time. Um, it can work for you. So whoever you choose, and if you're choosing somebody who's not already pre-spoken for in a team, like maybe you're using Thing because you don't have the Fantastic Four, um, those get a little bit more questionable. you got to go into way more detail. Uh, if you're using She-Hulk on this team because you don't want to split up anyone else then she's probably the healer on the team so nothing really changes here so for squirrel girl herself raider is a great option skirmisher is a great option it really just depends on what you see your team is missing um either of them work um that's pretty much it this is a very short team i, I look forward to being able to redo this as more young avenger characters come in or if existing characters like stature who are a young avenger end up getting the young avengers tag Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below, let me know. This was a hard one to make because it's a pretty obvious team and it's not a very useful team. So let me know if there's anything you see that uh, I missed in this conversation or something you think is absolutely positively the best that I kind of overlooked. Uh, anyway, have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangeli, and I'll catch you later.